We're not going back to the ways of Babylon. Your families will rebuild their altars again. Are you hearing me? And you will worship God the way you are called to worship Him in spirit and in truth. And I want those of you that can open your car windows, if your hands can come out your windows right now, if you're in agreement with me, begin to wave your hands and begin to give God praise right now. Come on, begin to lift your voice right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Begin to worship Him. Begin to adore Him. Begin to exalt His name. Everyone that can give a wave of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, O oh Lord. Glory to your name, O oh Lord. We worship you. Come on, lift your voice. Even in your cars right now. Lift your voice and give God praise. We're we not bring going. praise to him today. He is worthy to be praised. So I want to just lead you in prayer right now as the praise team will come and lead us in songs. Almighty God, we thank you and praise you for your unending mercy and grace poured out upon our nation. You have delivered us in times of war, reunited us after conflicts among ourselves, and filled our lives with such abundance. Your blessings overflow our borders. You are God all by yourself. And yet still, we take you for granted. We come before you now in desperate need of your forgiveness. We confess that the liberty you so graciously gave us has become a license to do as we please. Our culture mocks you. Our highest courts are esteemed above your word. We've traded genuine spirituality for temporary pleasure, true virtue, for hollow celebrity. We teach our children self-indulgence, yet stand mystified at the blood on their hands. We lust after material things, yet wonder why our souls are empty. We lament the walls that divide us, even as we segregate ourselves from one another. God, we pray today, you will revive us, O Lord. Your presence is our only hope. Impart to us your passion for good over evil. As we humble ourselves and seek your face, forgive us, O God, and heal us, we pray. Make us one that United Kingdom would be the land you envisioned from the beginning, a beacon of hope lifted up to the world, a people free to serve you and one another in genuine love. In the name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, we declare amen. So be it. Come on, raise your voice and give God the praise.
for us as the basis of our prayer this morning, Psalms 57 and Psalms 79, Psalms 57 verse 1, have mercy on me my God, have mercy on me for in you I, I take refuge, I take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster had passed, Psalms 79 and verse 8 may your mercy come quickly to meet us for we are in desperate need help us God our Savior for the glory of your name we're going to be praying this pandemic awful pandemic that's affected all of us individually and as a nation we're going to ask God that he will show us his mercy not give us what we so rightfully deserve Heavenly Father we thank you for your mercy and love that has been demonstrated to us as a nation in spite of our sinful condition we bring before you all those who have been infected by the COVID-19 virus we ask you Lord in your mercy to forgive us of our sinful state and release your healing, delivering power upon those who are affected in our nation. We ask you to protect us from the spread of the coronavirus. We pray for those who are infected with COVID-19 or facing quarantine. Jesus, during your ministry on earth, you showed your power and caring by healing people of all ages and stations of life from physical, mental, and spiritual ailments. We ask you to be present now to people who need your love and touch because of COVID-19. May they feel your power of healing through the care of doctors and nurses. In Jesus' name we ask. Let us say amen. amen. Let it be so, Lord. We're going to continue to pray. We recognize that there's power in prayer, there's power in agreement, and this morning we want to just continue to appeal to God to intervene on our behalf. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 says, He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and He will deliver us again. On Him we have set our hope that He will continue to deliver us. Amen? Jeremiah 32 verse 17 says, Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Amen? So we thank God that we can agree. Let's agree together. Jehovah Shalom, Lord of peace. We remember those living in coronavirus hotspots and those currently in isolation. We lift them up, Lord. May they know your presence in their isolation, your peace in their turmoil, and your patience in their waiting. Prince of Peace, you are powerful and merciful. We pray for those who are grieving, every single one that is grieving, reeling from the sudden loss of loved ones. May they find your fellowship in their suffering, your comfort in their loss, and your hope in their despair. We name before you those known to us who are vulnerable and scared and fearful, the frail, the sick, and the elderly. God of all comfort, you are powerful and merciful. We call on you to save us in our day of trouble. Take away the fear, 
the anxiety and feelings of isolation from people receiving treatment or under quarantine in hospital right now. Give them a sense of purpose in pursuing health and protecting others from exposure to the disease. Protect all our families and friends and bring peace to all who love, who we love. You are powerful and merciful. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Amen. As we look around our world today, we look, there's not an area of our life that doesn't need prayer. And we thank God that we can come and we, or they're looking for an, an, uh, an answer for this virus. But we thank you, God, the answer to all our sick churches has always been the same, prayer. So we're just going to just start with these few scriptures. Psalm 46, verse 1 to 2. God is our refuge and strength and the ever-present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give away and the mountains fall into the sea. And Philippians 4, verse 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Let's just pray. Jehovah Rapha, God who heals, we pray for all medical professionals dealing daily with the intense pressure of this crisis. Grant them resilience and weariness, discernment in diagnosis, on compassion upon compassion as they care. Would you rise above the present darkness as the sun of righteousness with healing in your hands? We pray for the, this coronavirus to stop spreading. Lord, we pray for leaders responsible for making decisions about the coronavirus. Father, we seek your wisdom daily. Be with people making decisions that affect the lives and futures of our families, our communities, our countries, and the wider world. We pray that they communicate clearly and truthfully. May truth and empathy be touchstones of people setting policies for our protection. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Amen. We are going to agree right now. I had one hour to do this, but it's the most powerful hour. It is the hour of power. And I want to say this right now. We are not going back to the ways of Egypt. Are you hearing me? We're not going back to the ways of Babylon. Your families will rebuild their altars again. Are you hearing me? And you will worship God the way you are called to worship him in spirit and in truth and I want those of you that can open your car windows if your hands can come out your windows right now if you're in agreement with me begin to wave your hands and begin to give God praise right now come on begin to lift your voice right now hallelujah hallelujah begin to worship him begin to adore him begin to exalt his name everyone that can give a wave of praise Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to your name, O oh Lord. Glory to your name, O oh Lord. We worship you. Come on, lift your voice, even in your cars right now. Lift your voice and give God praise. We're not going back to Egypt's bondage. I'm going to bring the praise team back right now. But before I bring the praise team back, I want every one of you to know that God himself had to give us this privilege. It is God himself that had to cause the sun to shine. Are you hearing me? There's rain clouds all around us. But God told me if he has to, he'll let the sun just shine on this spot so that you will know he's God. And I say this right now. It's so easy to forget the Egypt that God delivered us from. But I'm going to give you one more time. COVID-19 is going to be demolished. He's brought us out to bring us in. 
I want everyone to take your hands right now and begin to wave God and raise your voice and give him the praise. Thank <laughs> you. 